Right, here we go then. Same as ever, and you should now be thinking, blimey, not this again. S is equity, year end, that acquisition. That's how you want to fill in the exam, as if you've done it all a million times before. We want to put in here everything that's in equity. Look, share capital, retained earnings. So S is 13100. I presume that the at acquisition is the same for shares. And then I need to find out what the at acquisition date was. 20% 10 years ago, 70% 4 years ago. Therefore, the at acquisition date is 4 years ago. And here we go. The fair value net assets was 9880 4 years ago. And reserves were 9260. So that's the figure I want. The post acquisition is the difference between that, which is 21840. My next step is to add these two together, 9360, and that's the book value of the equity in net assets at acquisition. I want the fair value, and that's 9880. So I need to know, I need to do a fair value adjustment of 520. I need to know what caused it. The difference between the book and fair value is caused by PPE with a 10 year use for economic life. So PPE, the 520 depreciation over 10 years depreciate it by the four years that we've had it so that would give me 208 and 520 minus 208 would leave me 312 and that's what I go put to S's PPE so plus 312 up there I can now add that down to 21632 and I'm ready to go with my goodwill it's a step acquisition, so I know the fair value of consideration is going to be a bit of a pain in the bump, but I don't mind. It's proportionate NCI according to the question. And then I want the fair value of net assets acquired, and the fair value of net assets acquired, I know, I've just dealt with it, is the 9880. Proportionate NCI then, I own, I've forgotten, 20% plus another 70, so I own 90 so proportionate NCI would be 10% of the 9880, which is 988 then. Fair value of consideration at the date of acquisition. The date of acquisition was four years ago. The 70% was definitely worth 8,400. The question is, what was the 20% worth? That's what it cost, the 2,000. What's it worth at the date of acquisition four years ago? And it says the fair value of the original shareholder at this date was 2,360. So that's the fair value of the consideration four years ago, making a 360 gain. And if you remember, you put the gain to H's retained earnings. So 8,400 plus 2,360, add those two together and you get 10,760. Put all that into your goodwill calculation and you should get 1,8. Six, eight. Then you take off impairment. So you look for the impairment, and it says it's been impaired by two hundred and five. Take off the impairment, and you've got your final goodwill of one six six three. So we can go put that goodwill in one six six three into our answer. We've started our answer off. Now we can do what should we do? Let's do NCI. So NCI is at acquisition, we know that's always the same as your goodwill figure, so 988. Then you want plus post acquisition, we go to the post acquisition column, and I'm going to put that there, and it's 10% because it's NCI, so 10% of 21632, I will call 2163 then. There is no impairment because it's proportionate NCI, so you just add the NCI down and you get 31. Five, one, three, one, five, one. That's my NCI. Go pop it in. Three, one, five, one. And then finally, do my retained earnings working? And everybody's happy. So retained earnings. I want all of H or P or whatever it is that it's called. In this question, eighty-three, one hundred. I have made a step acquisition, so there will be a gain or sometimes a loss on the step acquisition. Okay, and that gain on the original amount was 360. That goes to H's retained earnings, 360. Then I want S, I don't want all of S, I want my share of post acquisition, which is obviously the 90% then of that figure. And if you put that in your calculator, you would get 19, 
four, six, nine. Then I would need to take off the impairment of goodwill, all of this impairment because it's proportionate NCI. So you can then add all that down and you will get 102723. What do you do to the 102723? You put it in your retained earnings. 102723, share capital, always the holding company, 100. Other net assets, just add them across and you should get 104312 and it all balances. Let's go try the proper exam question next.